Yo, what's up guys, it's Fane here, welcome back to another video on the GTA 5 Online Chop Shop DLC. And we are in a brand new event week with a brand new DLC vehicle as you saw from the title. And that vehicle being the Canis Terminus. We actually got an updated 4x4 Jeep surprisingly, which I will say, I mean, it's no Ram TRX, but I'll accept, a, I'll accept an updated Jeep any day, honestly. So let's take a look at this. Absolutely gorgeous, and even the rims. Look at the look at the stock rims on this thing. Wow. So in terms of what the terminus is based on, it is primarily based on the fourth gen Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. You can actually purchase off the Southern San Andreas website for about 1.9 million. So let's go ahead and check the customization for the Terminus, shall we? And this is this is in the off roads class as well, by the way. What are we doing today? Canis Terminus. All right. So we got arch covers. So we got the stock painted. You can remove them. Okay, that I, that honestly just looks weird when you remove them. Slim. Oh no, oh. Heavy duty. Whatever you desire. Okay. Technology and budget. Um, actually you know what effort we'll do, we'll see what, I'll see what I can do. Armor, brakes, bumpers. Okay, well cropped bumper. Bull bars. Okay, so it just adds a bull bar on top. Mounted bull bar. Mounted bull bar with sp mount bar with spotlights. Do you need a drink? Okay. Bubbles or something? Cropped bumper with mount mount bar. Oh yeah, I see it. That's the one with the spotlights. Heavy duty. Painted heavy duty. So there's a painted for this one, but the rest just have the plastic. Huh? <laughs> what? Okay, um, just go with this You're one, and then we'll go back to the, uh, the arch, and we'll make that the stock. Alright, rear bumpers, we got heavy duty. Okay, this, this rear bumper seems to come, seems to be, no this front bump, this rear bumper here seems to come off, it seems similar to the one you would find on the Everon for some reason, I don't know why. Painted heavy Okay. Utility bumper. And painted utility. Alright. Uh, I think we'll do the utility. Uh, doors. Okay, so you have doors. Um, I think this is something that people were expecting. Stock doors. Door protectors. Okay. <laughs> Tube doors. Uh, short version of these. Okay. Aftermarket tube doors. <laughs> lightweight panels. Oh, tube lightweight panels, okay. Lock tube doors. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll just leave it stock. I don't know about that one, Chief. Engine. Exhaust. Stock. Uh, twin coated exhausts. Twin chrome. Quad coated exhausts. Quad chrome. Oh, it's a helicopter. <laughs> a helicopter scared the crap out of me. I thought that was something else. Ah, uh, the qu the quad coated does look good. Yeah, we'll do the we'll do the quad coated. Real. We have stock. Can't can't do the lights. <laughs> you have the angry lights. Cars angry boys. Yeah, a carbon version of that. Okay, so we have a carbon grill, but no carbon arch covers or no carbon front or back bumpers. Okay, that that's just rock star logic for you. Aftermarket, carbon aftermarket. These literally look the same, like the same. Okay, half tone, aggressive, painted aggressive, carbon aggressive. Heavy duty, oh my god, <laughs> you can turn this thing into like some sort of an armored vehicle. <laughs> uh, carbon aftermarket, why not? 
Hood. So we got the stock. Carbon overlay. Skull overlay. Where's the skull? Where's the skull? Oh, is that a there? Oh. No rush at all. I can barely see that. Camo. Utility hood. Vented hood. Okay. Vented hood with carbon. Okay. Oh, yeah. The same variants here. The cow hood. The limited edition hood. <laughs> yeah, do the vented. Horn. Uh, I pretty much do this to every off-roader, so... Truck horn. <laughs> or it's just my thing, alright? Headlights. Okay, we got... The Xenons for that. Liveries. What liveries does this thing offer? Endoro Fortis. Okay, so you can literally make this like one of those military jeeps in real life. So pretty much like the... Uh, the Zancudo, the Crusaders you find at Fort Zancudo, you can literally do like a build of this. That's cool. Canis Geometry, Geometric, I think it's called. Wiz Off-Roading, Hard Stand Trippin', Street Styler, PRB Camo, version 2 of that. Uh, oh, that's what it is, okay. Of course, it had to have these liveries. Hardcore 4x4, Vibrant, uh, and Ferocity, Ferocious Washout. Okay, and none of these liveries look good. I've seen a lot of Jeeps in either red, blue, or yellow. Pretty. That looks alright. <laughs> uh, just make that black, or how it is, yeah. Uh, I, I don't usually do interior colours. Uh, and no crew emblem for this. A lot of the cars in this DLC don't have crew emblems for some reason. I don't understand why though. Roof. Okay, oh. You can delete the entire roof. I mean, that's, pr that's pretty cool. Okay, you can put a painted version of this on. Can't get the painted version of that. Safari net. Yeah, that's what it is. Like a, a safari ver safari jeep, yeah. Uh, I've made my decision. We're not going to do the painted. I don't know why I selected that. Uh, we're going to do the canted. Only, be only to make it line up with the bars on the inside. Skirts. Okay, so the skirts. Uh, we have the slat skirts. Okay, so it's like the usual uh, it's the usual side steps we get for most off-roaders in this game. The two oh, you have the tube steps. Okay. To protection, okay. But this one just looks odd. So I'm kind of having the force to choose this, so I guess we'll do that then. Spare wheel. Transmission. Turbo. Wheels. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. There's no way I'm changing the stock ribs. There's no way. That just looks, like, they just look so gorgeous. That I, I just can't change them, so... Therefore, we're going to keep it. I am going to equip these. These, do not ask why, because I do not care, right? Windows, black and mount. And there we go. Okay, I did at least two changes. One, I got rid of the polyester and just did like a normal red. And second, I just put the box body back on. Um, because I, I just could not. <laughs> Alright, let's exit the ground. And uh, take this for a drive, shall we? It's night time. Okay, cool. So, the Terminus. Let's see what we got here. Kind of sounds like a better version of just the... Kind of sounds like a better version of the average SUV exhaust, if I'm being honest. That's what kind of sounds like. That's for it. That's what these at speed. Oh my handling? Wait, what? Huh? Yeah, this thing's actually. Oh, okay, now it's picking up speed. Oh my god, there's traffic everywhere. Ah, uh, let me make our way towards the hill. And we crashed into a cavalcade. Nice. <laughs> the handling seems to be alright. I don't know why, but it's. 
It feels like res it feels responsive. Okay, not as responsive if you're going too fast. Okay, no token. <laughs> uh, we need to pick up some speed and test the brakes. All right, brakes. Okay, they're all right. Not the best out of this DLC, but they're good. All right. Uh, just to double check, is this thing a this thing's an all-wheel drive, right? Let's just double check. Four by four. Why would it not be all wheel? Alright, I guess the there's one thing left to do and that's to off-road with this thing, so it's just a climb, shall we? Try and crawl up this. Oh, 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 okay, okay, that's bouncy. <laughs> it's pretty bouncy. <laughs> Did you see that? My crawl, no, it doesn't have the power. Okay, let's go on a, uh, try a bit of a less hilly one. Very nice. Alright, now let's try the steep one again. Alright, steep one. Okay. Oh, that, that's actually pretty good. Uh, what about in terms of full power? I think every single off can do this, except for the slow ones. <gasps> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, did I hit a brick wall or something? What was that? I went... What was that? I went full speed and I hit something. Okay, I'll try that again. There we go. Yep, so full power with any off it's just going to go full speed. Over the mountains we go. You're right. Oh god. Do not I do not want to fall off the mountain like I did with the la the last off road that we did. Oh my god, this thing is scary. <laughs> All doors. Everything opens. Very nice. Alright, we got a a pretty clean engine model. I mean I like how this one actually hides all of the bad detail underneath it. I mean you can still see some of the like like, for example, here, there, and then you've got the, the nice looking bit of right here. And interior, we have... Uh, is this sedan interior? And then we've got the rear. If you want to own it, then go ahead and knock yourself out and buy it. It costs like... 1.9 million dollars plus the upgrades that's 2.3 so you can buy it if you want or of course just wait for a discount or wait for it to be on the podium or prize ride if you don't want to buy it then if you don't want to buy it because there's better options out there then do, do what you like comment down below what your thoughts are on the canis turbinus this is the first time i'm going to be doing this because i would like to see all your opinions on this vehicle and me personally um i actually accept it but I would have preferred a Ram TRX. That's a youth slash off-roader I would actually want in this game. Especially since people have been asking for it for years and DLCs. But they gave us an updated Jeep, Jeep uh, which we kind of actually needed. So I can't really complain. So there you have it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Make sure you guys stay tuned for tomorrow's video, will be, which will be the customization on the Gauntlet Interceptor, so make sure you stay tuned. That being said, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.